What's up world, it's Quest at Quest Nutrition Network and we're back again with another video. I hope everybody is enjoying the weather right now. It's beautiful outside, so I hope that you're out there enjoying the sunlight. Now I wanted to come to you with this particular video um, to dispel a myth. Now for a long time in this country, all of us have been affected by this particular myth. I know I personally have uh, from the time I was a young child even as a grown adult, I still have individuals from family members and you know professionals giving you and re-perpetuating this myth. This protein myth, more specifically about protein coming from meat. Now see, the fact of the matter is protein, yes, is something that is very, very important for our body. However, the myth is that you can only get protein from animal products and that you need protein and that this is something that you can't survive. You know, it's as though um, we're encouraged to think that you will be basically wither away and become weak if you're void of uh, protein products. And these things have been scientifically proven that actually a diet that is void of meat or less meat scientifically proven that you know that these um that, that you by you having this type of diet you'll be able to live a much healthier lifestyle but i just wanted to take the time to dispel that myth because as i said it's been something that has been perpetuated and has been brought to me you know now you have world class athletes in fact right now as we speak as i'm doing this video i believe the williams sisters are, do, are in Wimbledon and they're doing the double sets and stuff and those two are examples of vegans they are vegans they consume a, 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 a mostly plant-based diet and you don't have to take my word for it you can google it you can look it up and it'll show you that they both are vegans um, you know so that's something to keep in mind because I don't think that Serena Williams looks like somebody that is deprived of protein. So we really got to understand, you know, where do these myths come from? You know, they're they're really programmed into us when we're a child, when we're children. You know, and as we grow to adults, then we start to hear it more. Oh, protein now has become synonymous with meat. And that couldn't be further from the truth because protein, you can get it from peanuts. You can get protein from beans, uh, legumes. You can get protein from even green leafy vegetables. You can get protein from broccoli. You can get protein from kale. There are a numerous amounts of different vegetables that have protein in them and they are good, high quality protein. So even world class athletes. I read that uh, Tony Gonzalez, uh, a former NFL player, uh, retired NFL, he's known as one of the greatest uh, uh, tight ends in the history of the NFL. At one point, he was a vegan, plant-based. Um, even in the uh, world of uh, professional wrestling, uh, there is a former WWE champion, uh, Daniel Bryan. He was a vegan. Now, I know that this individual and WWE is quote unquote not real, but these individuals are still considered to be athletes because their preparation, their approach towards their training is very much like a competitive athlete, you know, on the gridiron. These guys get injuries just like basketball players and football players have, you know, so he was a world champion in the WWE and he was, he happened to be a vegan. So we got to dispel these myths about you know, you having to be uh, a meat eater in order to be strong and muscular and be able to compete and, and so on and so forth. There are many other examples of individuals and I can't get into all of the individuals who are vegans and vegetarians in pro sports, but just understand that it does exist. There are uh, bodybuilders, you know, Mr. USA and, and, and Mr. Universe who are also vegan, vegetarian diets and stuff. Um, but we also have to deal with the issue of saturated fats. We have to deal with the issue of uh, 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 what 
this society perpetuates when it comes to eating meats and how it's affecting us. Because really and truly, we're one of the sickest societies in the world. You know, 600,000 people die of heart disease. You know, cancer rates um, are through the roof. Diabetes, uh, I think the last statistic I believe is one in five people are diabetic in this country. So, you know, we're fed this myth from a child, but what has it done for us? So I wanted to start up this conversation. I want us to start to dispel some of these myths and really start to ask ourselves the questions and also to really just take a look at the research. There's a great book called The China Study that really gets into this about research on plant-based nutrition, um, vegetarian diet, vegan diet, and comparing it to the regular carnivore diet. And the research is astounding. It shows that you know, that you're less likely to, fa to fall victim to these diseases on a more plant-based diet. So that's all I have for you guys today in this video. Um, you're welcome to comment, say anything about this video. I always uh, welcome that. And uh, please stay tuned and check out more, video more of these videos on my YouTube channel. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Take care. This is Quest Nutrition Network. Eat right, live fit, feel good.